What's up, friends? You know, I've made this post here just to show you that Gunther, I know it's controversial because he's made six coins that have rugged, maybe the seventh now. Hope you don't rug your seventh coin, Gunny Boo. Anyway, Gunther, friends, <clears throat> forget the person. Forget Gunny Boo. Just look at the story. He DCA bought into Hex with his entire salary for a whole year of 2020, 30K or 50K, and... Right now, it's like 1.8 million. At the hex top, yes, there are stakes and stuff in there. It's worth 150 million ish. Just to let you know. So if P hex goes to a dollar, all right, he's going to have like 150 million dollars. Now, here's the thing. It's funny, some people are crying about, oh, no, it's, it's stakes and stuff. Just you're forgetting the point. The, so you're kind of revealing how bearish you are on hex as well. So every single person, who interprets this post that I'm replying to, okay, as as bearish, they have revealed, projected to all of us in crypto that they intend to dump their hex way before a dollar. They're going to dump on you. Okay, they've literally revealed it. Because I'm just throwing out $1 hex. Friends, I was here in this squeaky chair a year ago. I was being crucified if I dared to entertain the thought that Hex wouldn't hit $1. Friends, you know Tangent? I remember a comment from Tangent. You know Tangent? We love Tangent. Even Mr. Tangent replied to me once saying, hey man, that's pretty much, that's really embarrassing if you have a target less than a dollar because, it, friends, by the way, a target of a dollar was bearish for Hex. Why? Because it was only two times the all-time high. I promise, friends, I promise. Go back and check all the comments. That was Mr. Tangent. Can you imagine the comments I was getting from everybody else? But today, you can tell... A one dollar target. I'm just telling you, hey, I don't even a target. I'm just saying, hey, if P Hex got to a dollar, Gunny Boo would have turned thirty grand, fifty grand into one hundred fifty million dollars, which is a great success story. And that's all I said. That's all I said in this. And I've actually said, you know, hopefully Hex can be at the Hex can be ten cents, ten cents at the end of this year, a nice handsome ten X from here. So you can actually get a lot of information right from people, friends. The market out here. Okay, they're full of shit. <laughs> they basically revealed to me and knew they're full of shit. They're basically saying like, hang on, I thought $1 was programmed, but now you're so sensitive to the fact that $1 would make one guy this rich. It's also funny, there are other people doing technical uh, discussions about, no, 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 it's, it's stakes and hearing their friends. I can just go grab another three people and then you have your $300 million. So you go, oh, these three people are going to withhold. So these are the things. I'm not making a decision. I'm just telling you, okay, it's not even up to me. I'm reading the stuff. I'm not here to tell you this will happen or this won't happen. I never do that, man. I'm not stupid, okay? I'm a peanut brain. I'm wor I'm lower than stupid, okay? I'm just, just a peanut brain. So I'm just telling you, wow, they have revealed themselves their hands have been shown to me. Thank you very much for everyone. I've, uh, I've seen this time and time and time again. <laughs> I've noticed how come the high price of hex targets are now considered bearish when you talk about how much someone owns? How come? Okay. You know, friends, with Bitcoin, no one ever says, hey, if Bitcoin goes to 100K, Richard Michael Saylor has this us money. It's because those people talking about it, have no intention to dump before 100K. Okay, it's not an issue. But the big hex, P-hex holders, thinking about a dollar, they got every intention to dump. Now, I don't know where they're going to dump. I don't know. Friends, could be 10 cents up to. I can show you the resistance levels right now, okay? Because, yeah, we want to play this game of pretending we're at like all-time high stuff and using that terminology. Yeah, here are all the resistances, okay? First one, five cents. Next one, 12.7. Then you have the fake launch price, the Pulse X price. Friends, everyone knows these numbers. Hex, Hex movie, uh, Mikey, right? Sells his house down there, okay? So, look, this is nothing new to Hex. This happens in literally every single other coin. Uh, you've heard of this, friends. Cycle two coins. It's obvious, man. You have bag holders. That's it. People, bag holders, there's not enough liquidity to get everybody out. So, everyone just keeps holding. No one wants to leave. You know, by the way, not everyone can get out. Because of liquidity, that's it. <laughs> Only like one in 50 people can get out because of the door. You already saw it, friends, with Ehex, right? Ehex, 85% drop from pretty much three guys. Three sharks sold like 1.1 billion worth. Now, there's all these other little people that joined with them. But yeah, see that? Just three sharks, that's it. What happened to the next top 300 holders? Doesn't matter. Three people out of 100, out of 100, that's it. Decide, guess what? They're done 85%. 
You see? So everyone's na true nature gets revealed by their reactions to these. Aren't you guys got a friend like me? Now, here's the funny part. When Richard starts deploying the sack funds, which is what everyone's actually trying to front run, greed will take over again. But hey, don't say I didn't warn you. Catch you soon.